Okay, if you're having to drain or flush your water heater, there's gonna be a drain valve down on the bottom here, and that's a quarter turn valve, and you can put a hose on there and flush your water heater out. Now, typically you'll do that once a year, but if you haven't been doing it, that sediment can build up inside of here and get pretty nasty. And let me show you something. Right over here. So, this water heater is uh, six years old, and you can kind of see all of the nastiness that's in the water heater. Let me tilt it here. I'll show you. See, that's that's what the inside of a water heater tank looks like after several years. Look, isn't that that's disgusting? Oh, that's so gross. Look at that. Mmm. Okay. So, what can you do? Well, let me show you. Here's the inside of a gas water heater. This is the flue that goes up through the middle, so all of the um, exhaust is gonna go up through there and then should go up and out through the roof. This is the inside of the tank here. This is the shank from the gas control valve. Um, this is kind of domed up. I don't know if you can see on camera. This is kind of domed right here. Uh, and a lot of sediment build up around here now if it gets packed up around the flush valve drain valve whatever you want to call it it can it can clog it and now check this out that is the drain valve that comes on the water heater okay it looks like it has a large opening but it really doesn't um, I don't even think a big pin would fit through there so what do you do well you do this you can get yourself a full port three quarter inch ball valve. Okay, let me open that up. Okay, that is a full three quarter inch opening, much larger. So big pieces of sediment that are formed inside of the heater can come out through there. Uh, three quarter inch nipple, try to use brass when you can. Uh, don't use uh, galvanized. You can see how nasty the galvanized is inside of there. If you can kind of see that. And then this, um, this drain valve is the same age, and even though it's dirty from that nasty water, there's no corrosion or anything inside of there on the brass. So try to use brass, three quarter inch brass um, pipe extension right here. And then on this side, you would, you know, pipe dope, Teflon tape that, you can seal it up, install it on the bottom of your heater. Okay, and then right here, you would just put a uh, hose adapter. It would screw right in there, and then your garden hose would connect right onto there. And then it's always a good idea to put a cap on this. And the reason is, um, as this water heater is sitting, if somebody accidentally hits that, you don't want to blast, you know, water all over the place. Hot water, flood the place, so you can put a cap on there. But this will sit like that, and then you can do your maintenance. You can put your hose on there, you open that up. If you need to flush it, let all of that crap and sediment come out. This will allow much more stuff to come out than this tiny little thing. So, I hope that helps. Thank you.